What's going on YouTube? JT is born here and welcome back to another edition of my DC comic book reviews. And in this video, we're going to be talking about DC vs. Vampires Hunters issue number one. So this is Damian Wayne Vampire Hunter, the issue. So this is the one I was looking really forward to because I'm like, okay, we, we saw what happened the last time in DC vs. Vampires where Damian got bit and like, you know, Dick was the vampire king and he killed off a bunch of people. So now we're doing a little bit of a time jump in terms of the series, but this time around, Damien is the vampire hunter. He's kind of like Blade, so Damien is fully turned into a vampire, but he's against all the vampires. Like, I mean, the opening of the issue shows him going down to try and take out, like, members of the Justice League, but it's all just, like, he's he's really working, like, on the same team. He's trying to stop... Um, he wants to get an audience with the Vampire King, who is Dick Grayson, so he can drive a stake through his heart and put an end to this conflict once and for all. But Damien himself has been turned into a vampire, as they make sure to showcase here. Um, <clears throat> instead of drinking human blood, uh, Alfred gives him, like, what was it, like, cow's blood or something like that, too. So Alfred's still there. He's taking care of him. Uh, other members of the Bat family and everyone else is kind of going into hiding. Um, Damien, at this point, has pretty much just, like, he's, he's trying to mislead everyone so he can get an audience with uh, Dick. Uh, but it ultimately backfires because Dick knows what's going on. Uh, they get into a bit of a conflict here. Like I said, Dick, what's interesting here with Damien is, unlike most of the other vampires, Damien's kind of able to resist it for some specific reason. Like, he's able to kind of, like, break free of the control. Like, he still has, like like there's there's a sense of like his kindness and caringness that's still in there yeah he's still got a bit of that bratty attitude but he's able to resist like being put like under the vampire influence for some reason and i think that might have to do with the fact that he's an al ghoul or something like that or just his determination and rage but like other people who've been turned uh unlike damien with the superpowers and that like he's still able to kind of like hold a sense hold on to a sense of humanity that the others aren't necessarily able to do so the artwork is quite good uh there's some exciting action i was on the edge of my seat i don't the thing i love about dc versus vampires is i don't know where it's necessarily going to go i don't know who's going to live i don't know who's going to die um damien gets severely injured by the end of this issue and there's a nice kind of tender compassionate moment between him and alfred and dick lets him live he's like this is it this is your chance um i'm, I'm giving you a chance to kind of live um his attempt to try and defeat him has failed uh but alfred ultimately kind of like carries damien off at the uh end of the issue like they have their nice little bit of goodbye so there, there's more going on with dick as the vampire king than uh that's that's being let on but the issue itself was quite good and like dc versus vampires continues to be like one of my favorite ongoing series at dc right now like it's it's fun it's exciting you never know who's going to be turned who's not like i said there's like that that element of suspense with each issue so i'm trying not to read ahead in terms of like uh solicitations yeah i do the solicitation stuff but i kind of forget um so i just look forward to reading this thing whenever a new issue comes out i've I've quite enjoyed DC vs. Vampires. I think it's one of the strongest series at DC. And uh, if you haven't checked it out, do yourself a favor. Check it out, especially if you're a Damien fan. You get to see him as a vampire. And, like, he's he's basically, like, Blade. Like, if Blade was a DC character, that's Damien right here. Uh, although, like, he doesn't have the Daywalker abilities and such. But, uh, you know, Blade, like, hunting down other, like, various vampires as a vampire. So, there's that. All right, well, that's all I got to say about this one. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, post your comments down below. Like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more content. I got two other comic book reviews, and then I should be it in terms of comic book reviews, uh, in terms of the new stuff today. And then uh, later on this week, I'm going to catch up with some other stuff. And then I also got a Top Gun uh, Maverick video coming out later on tonight. So that's all I got to say. As always, take care now. Bye-bye then, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.